And joining us now is Cincinnati Councilmember P.G. Sittenfeld. Councilmember Sittenfeld, first of all, thank you for taking the time. Councilman. I know it was an incredibly long day and an incredibly late night as well. So uh, tell us a little bit about where you were and how you started hearing about what happened yesterday. I was actually in the meeting with the mayor and uh, a couple of my colleagues when uh, the city manager and our police department started just giving us sort of live updates as what was happening. And, um, you know, we, I guess on the one hand, we know that mass shootings, horrible incidents like this happen all around the country. Mm -hmm. but we still, blessedly, so that it's not normalized, as the mayor said a few minutes ago, you, you don't think it's going to come to your community, and right. you definitely don't think that it's going to come to, I, mean, I think Fountain Square is That's kind of, it. this is the most sacred yep. space in our city. It's where we come together in joy and in protest and to be one Cincinnati. So for you know one evil coward to try and turn that part of our city into uh, the scene of this tragedy, I mean, all, you know, all of our hearts are broken, and they're going to be broken for a long time. So, oh yeah. You mentioned, you know, hearing from police about what happened. Let's talk about the police response because you and I had just a moment to, to speak about it, but incredible, amazing. They saved lives. Yeah, we obviously, you know, we, this community will never be the same for the lives we lost, but in terms of acknowledging the heroism and the professionalism and the courage and the fast response of our police officers, yeah. um, you know, you saw the, the, the raw volume of ammunition, what this person was clearly prepared to do or thought they might be able to do, our police officers saved a lot of lives. Um, without, you know, we're, it's, it's a difficult job, right, when a lot of people doing the right thing try mm -hmm. and get away from the danger they charge right toward the danger. Yeah. So it's just another reminder that, um, you know, our first responders, what they do is not like, you know, we all have different oh, jobs gosh. and play our role, but right. their job is something unique. And um, later today, we're gonna have a chance to express our gratitude to them as we also, um, you know, mourn and grieve for those. Talk which, about how that came together. You first started saying, hey, we should all have lunch on the square today to show that we're not afraid, to show that we're together. It's kind of evolved into something more than that. Well, yeah, look, again, this would be an, complete tragedy no matter where it happened, mm -hmm. but our Fountain Square, this is our civic living room. This is where we come together. Yeah. So I thought, you know, like no matter what, we need to show up here and say that the actions of this terrible, evil person, they don't represent the character of Cincinnati. Uh, they will not make us permanently afraid. I talked to the leadership at Fifth Third. They requested that um, they lead an event starting at 4 p.m. So I'd actually, to folks who are joining us now, rather than showing up for lunch, um, Fifth Third said, you know, have the whole community come out. They're obviously gonna mourn and grieve and try and honor the members of the Fifth Third community and of the larger community that we lost. And then I've been working with the United Way. We're gonna do something at 5 p.m. where folks will hear from some faith leaders, hopefully some music to lift people up a little bit, thank our first responders for their incredible bravery, uh, and then a candlelight vigil as well. And it's Fountain Square. Like Fountain you say, Square. The people will come. And we, you know, all, I heard so immediately from so many people who said, we want to physically mm -hmm. be in yep. this space. This is sacred space in our city. So all are welcome. Obviously, it's going to be completely secure today. Right. I'll be down there throughout the day. I was just down there this morning. But um, Well, and that's what Cincinnatians do, and that's what Americans do. We, we show. We're not afraid of this. We're, we're not afraid, and we, we, pull right. the, we pull together. Now's right. the time to obviously, you know, Hug, hug and love on your family members, mm -hmm. and um, let let your neighbors and your community members. You know, it's time to pull together and embrace those people who are hurting. Thank you, PG. Thank you all for your Thank hard you. work. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Well, uh, the big question, of course, still hanging over all of this, is is why? Why did this man walk into a building, kill three people, try to kill many more? We are digging to find an answer to that question. We'll have any breaking details on air at local12.com as well. Plus, you can find more on Facebook and.